Hey, Metroid Dread, I'm here with... Michael died, I killed him. True. I killed he him. literally peed in his mouth. No, yeah, and it blew him up. <laughs> I think you're like, no, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to deny the charges, but... I'm going to get another freak set. Addict, addiction. I'm giving it the Gagnon. Do I have to put a picture of him on screen eventually? I don't know. You think? It's Gagnon, the Gengar, the Gengar, the line of plushes that they came out with that are like... Squishmallows. That are like Weeble Wobbles. Just you, Squishmallow. You ever had a Weeble Weeble Wobble? Mm-mm. Weebles wobble, weebles wobble, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Um, I saw a little thing to the right you could do. That room. Oh, true, 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 true. Just true. because I think it is an optional, true, 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 and it true. might have some uses. How how much do you want all the items in this game? Or? I don't care. I assume you want a good amount, though. I'll get all the ones that I find. Think about it. No, you. There's a lot fucker, you're not gonna find them. Fucker. I can't wait till we get to Josiah's favorite part of the game. What is my favorite part of the game? Transitions. Oh, yeah, this game takes an annoyingly long time to load between Maybe. areas, which is really bad for a game that wants you to move between areas semi-frequently. I mean, yeah. It does say there's a secret there. The screen's blinking. It might be on the. It could be on the other side of the map. Because like if you look at it, it has a square and it goes to the right. Yeah, I know. That's this. Well, oh, I mean, it could be the opening could be on the right side. Figured. I would figure that I need more. Oh no. know. Do the. There's something. I can't get. I, I think yeah. that's probably a morph ball because you just place a bomb there. True. I do like the con the controls do feel kind of smooth in this game, except like when you have to aim. Sometimes it can be rough. I feel like. Otherwise, I like the movement in the game a lot. Grab it. <laughs> I don't remember the like half these enemies. Okay. Um. Power beam. Just damn them easy. Say, uh, what yeah, did you yeah. what did you just got? You got the thing I'm that lets you for the invisible invisibility doors. Well, there's nothing down bottom left. I don't think there's anything to the right. Unless there's something way to the right. Oh wait, unless I guess I hold on. So that's sensor lock door. So there are sensor lock doors here. That's where I just mm -hmm. was. Can't get through there. I feel like it'd be in the top left of anywhere. Or like up higher, I don't know. Um. What's top left again? Can't go up there. Can you can you go to like like if you look to the left there's like a wall thing. Hmm? Left. Oh, well, there's that area there. I don't know if that's anything. This? Yeah. No, you can't. I don't think you can do anything there. But if you go, keep going left, down. Like, can you jump up uh, to the left there where that wall thing is? Uh, this? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Um, Otherwise, I have no clue. I don't know. The way I, the way I find areas to go to is I, I look for the upgrade I just got, right? <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Um, is there anything to the far right? Oh, oh there we go. Store. Yeah, that's so it. Where are we? You're doing it. You're solving the puzzle. Anyways, what games have you been playing recently? Hmm, Minecraft. Minecraft. I think that's literally it. Oh, no, I got, I played Lethal Company yesterday. Did you like that? Yeah, it's a good game. It's it's um, it seems very fun. It's yeah, it's it's fun because it's just one of those games you play with, you know, three of your friends. Yeah. Um I will say mechanically speaking, once you start getting used to the game, some of the stuff in the game stops becoming quaint and fun and just begins becoming a little bit frustrating. Yeah. Like the map 
not not the indoor map design, but the outdoor, outdoor map design. It's always the same. Which seems to well, it's not. It, sometimes they place objects down in places they're worth. Oh. Um, but but the maps are in a lot of ways the outside maps intentionally made to be like confusing and disorienting, to like fuck you up once you get out of like you know if you, if you get yeah. out of the the facility late and you can't get back to the ship or something. Um, but this is just this because this is fun at first, and but you know once you're good at the game and, and have a bunch of scrap with you, it's just like well this is just frustrating. Because now I'm just gonna die. Right now I'm now I'm just kind of lost and, and burning you know burning daylight, for really no reason. I know. So from what I know, I know a lot of people like they did like they say like just get to the higher level moons and then you're good, like for money. Because like I don't know. It's apparently the higher moons are good. I to be fair, it is also one game developer, and he, they're probably gonna try yeah. to like work on it. I'm not saying the game is bad. I'm just oh, saying yeah. it it has a little bit of a, what I would call a balancing issue. Yeah, I honestly, it's it looks so much fun. I really want to play it. Um, except I don't think I PC probably wouldn't be great with it. Mm, well, my laptop. The game is like less than a gigabyte. You you're you're you could run it fine. Maybe maybe, that, maybe future recordings, people. Maybe. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do that as a recording one day, who knows. Um, cause that game, that looks like my type of game. Oh, speaking of your favorite kind of things. Oh, this is an elevator. Yeah, I didn't realize. Oh my god, we're so far down, I didn't realize. Welcome to the underground! Going to Kat oh, Kataris, Kader, Kader, Katari. Getting the elevator. I don't think I'd want to go in an elevator that's sparking that much. It's fine. No, the game looks fun. Um, the de I I know that it's a one developer, and I remember someone was saying apparently like he they're very happy with the success. Um, but they I'd be very happy if my ten dollars. Well, yeah, got, like a hundred. But they said they're not. They they've seen what happened to other developers who like get success and then they like burn themselves out guess, trying to get yeah. stuff out. So they're gonna take their time. That's fine. The game's already fun. Like you don't really yeah. even need to add anything to be honest. Well, like maybe new maps and like. But yeah, no, no, but, but my on. point is that the game in its current state is fun, and people like it, so yeah. theoretically, you never need to add anything. Oh, yeah. Right, like, it, the game's already, you know, fine. If, if... That loading zone so was quick, there, by the way. So there's really... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It might just continue we were talking through it, but... That's I, true. I found... Especially when I was going back and forth because I was lost, I found it very annoying to have to wait on that cutscene every time. Yeah, I understand that. But yeah, uh, Lethal Company looks really good. I saw a video of it, like, way before it exploded on, like, a channel that kind of just plays funny games. Yeah. So, like, what, what week has... How long has it been out? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've i known about it for, like, a month, about... Um, I don't know when it when to say it got popular. I don't... It might have been about I feel like about ago. two weeks ago. Really? It, like, blew up. Well, because I just remember a month ago, a streamer I watched played it, and I I, I, didn't even, I wasn't even there for the stream. I just saw the, the Maybe about thumbnail a week. and the title. And yeah, like, oh, actually, it might have been gone popular, like, a week ago. Really? I, I feel like it's been longer than that. Maybe two weeks. Two yeah, weeks for reference, like, it is November 22nd. Yeah. Maybe, like, three weeks, then, because, like... it. But it's definitely been in that time frame, but I watched some people play it when it, like, first came out. Like, so just, they play, like, random games. Oh, that enemy is really cool. Yeah. I like that enemy. I find them kind of annoying. Well, I just like the design and the idea behind. I don't know. Also, it's not that hard. You just counter and then. Really? What? Yeah. So you, when it that. Oh. I think. No, you're totally right. I'm about to die. <laughs> yeah. So. That was your first. Yeah, it's a girl. Metroid uh, is a girl. So. What? <laughs> Wait. I thought he was a twink. <laughs> I thought he was a bear. That wouldn't make any sense. You can see the body type. That can't be a bear. You never know what's under that suit. You don't know the. You think the fat in the, or the, the and or muscle is of, all the perspective of the game. <laughs> Where am I right now? You're in Katara's. I'm in Katara. What? Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, that's Avatar. Avatar, the last Airbender. Bro, I, I I've been hearing too much. Oh my say. God, Netflix is coming. I. Oh, this is probably yeah. old news at this point. But but Netflix is revealed the trailer for the live action Avatar that I I might add. Did they do that like like a like a month ago? It might have been around that time. Might have been oh. a couple weeks ago. Either way, it's old news at this point. Um, but a, a show that I might add, the original creators walked off of. Yeah. I will say, 
just in case anybody thought it might be good. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I don't see the point. I do not see the point of making a live-action remake of Avatar of the Last. Other money. than money, yes. <laughs> but artistically speaking, I don't see the point, and I suspect that is part of the reason... Or wait, was it... I don't remember if the the original creators either walked off that or they walked off... Because I remember it, at some they point... They walked off the Netflix show. Well, I, at some, I remember at some point hearing that Netflix was was devising a third Avatar series. No. Uh, like a third original one, and they had no. the original creators, and the original creators walked off of that. I think they, they walked off the live-action show. Well, right, I... I I know. I just. I remember hearing. I remember hearing that Netflix was making a ha, was making a third Avatar, um, and they had the original creators. And I also remember hearing, semi recently, like a year ago maybe, that after the creators walked off of that, it became they were going to make a live action. It, they were going to make it live action, which I don't know if that turned into the live action Last Airbender. I thought it was already going to be live action. I don't know. I. I, I've only I haven't been keeping up with it that closely, frankly. I have not at all. Either. Um, I'm not really, like I like Avatar, but like, and I like Korra actually. I didn't really mind that. Uh, I've never seen the Avatar live action movie. It's really bad. That's what I hear. He's it's powered by thermal energy magma. This is where the magma is from. A lot of hotness. I noticed shuttle somewhere above here. This is your visible cloak prevents the enemy from distract detecting you? Severely decreases your mobility. Uh, so you still can run into the Emmy when you're mm -hmm. invisible. It'll consume your life energy, and or consume your life energy. I don't know what it meant by that. If if you run out of a the meter, oh, it starts consuming your E tank. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Welcome to the underground. Yeah. Um. What were we saying? Avatar something? I don't remember what was before that. Oh, I don't know. I just, I, I think it's silly. Oh, because I didn't, I, you said Katara, and I was like. Oh, yeah. The like, hmm? But, yeah. Anyways. It is funny, because a lot of these things, obviously, we're talking about are going to be much outdated. Yeah, in six months when this video comes out. It will be five. Okay. <laughs> so, not as much. Cause this is what we're in November. It's coming out in April. It's like five. Yeah, I can math. What is it? Oh, I think the reason I was thinking of Lethal Company is because we're in like a facility right now. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's like metal, you know. Welcome to the facility, dude. The Fazbear Pizza Plex is kind of also a facility, just like Lethal Company. But you would know this. It's the song that plays in Lethal Company when you get your items. That's Turkey and the Stroll. That's what it's, it is. It's like it's like a remix remember. of Turkey yeah. and the Stroll. It, I think that might be my favorite part of the game. <laughs> what the music? Is. Well, I just I really like when uh, hearing it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 I like, like that. The trap, the did you, trap snares. Did you know there's a boombox item in that? Yeah, I knew. And I saw a streamer get it, and they all just started dancing when they're whenever they like hear the other person. <laughs> The dancing is also one of my favorite things about that game. Oh, another thing, yeah, another kind of annoying thing about Lethal Company, you uh, because the emotes are tied to the number keys, you can only the only way to uh, access things on your hotbar is through the scroll wheel, which yeah. I think is a really frustrating aspect of the game. It, it, it does add to the feeling of um, helplessness and insecurity that the game likes to foster, but mechanically speaking, it's like, bro, I just wanna, I just wanna scroll onto my walkie-talkie. Why did I do that? <laughs> that button doesn't do anything. Yeah, the, I do like the, the musical thing. I just like how fast sometimes. Wait. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I shoot through it. I shoot through it. Oh my god, stop respawning. You stop. should stop respawning now. They're not respawning. They're being born and growing up. I hate those things. Open. What? <laughs> Open. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't realize that I reversed the flow. Yeah. 
Okay, that tends to happen. A lot of guys deal with a reverse flow. Don't ask me what that means, please. Oh, come on! I just wanted their fucking energy. Look at this cool room. What is this? Is this a boss? No, it's just a cool room. What are you? What? Just like a generator. You can see the cool, like, thermal thing out there. It's like the the fucking mucus things. ball. I'm gonna be real, I think I don't rely on the counter until it's, like, last minute, because... What's it called? Because some... Like, I feel like I wait too... I, I'm not good at the timing. On that guy, I use the counter, because that guy has, like, a ton of health. Don't you want a robot friend? Uh, I don't know. Can I... Could I have countered that? I don't know. Yes. No, you can. I did not know that. Yeah, I will say See, I want to use the counter because I really want the health back. Like, I don't like oh. losing health to these bitch-ass tiny enemies and then not being able to retrieve it. I guess. I'm pressing the button. Yet again, switch delay. <laughs> no worries, the switch 2 will fix that. Maybe they'll get better remotes. Samus, move up. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Little, Fuck you! What are these little gremlins even called, I wonder? Mosquito. Do games still do, like, bestiaries? What do you... I don't know. Like, like for instance, Pikmin does the Piclopedia. Some games, Hollow Knight. True. I think Metro should do them. Cause I, no one, I bet it has one. It probably does, you're right. Oh, yeah, I can't go in there, it doesn't matter. It's hot. Get it hot, hot, hot. I wonder what it's like be whoa. Look at those things down there. What's that thing? Who knows? What's that little robot? It's a forge. It's where the dwarves live. That's where the dwarves do their mining. So I am a dwarf, oh. and I am digging a hole. Digging, digging hole. Digging, digging hole. Anyways. Oh, oh yeah. Wall, I want you to know I'm sitting here last night. Mr. Treyarch, or no. Dr. <laughs> Treyores! <laughs> yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> Dr. Treyores, you can't burn the gaze. Not today's pride ball. <laughs> For reference, Josiah put on his story just I was, him uh, saying, Dr. Traoris! I was thinking about Dr. Traoris of, of Dan TDM fame. <laughs> For reference, I never watched Dan TDM. I never did either. I just watched a video. I found a video a couple weeks ago of a clip where Dan TDM walks into a room and the titular Dr. Traoris is using flint and steel to burn a rainbow flag and he goes, Dr. Traoris! You can't burn the gay flag, it's Pride Month! <laughs> like, that type of bit has just, like, stuck with me, like, for the last month. Ooh, spooky. Uh -oh. He's fucking neon green. But you're invisible. I'm invincible. Oh, wh where'd he go? Eh. What, this thing has no thermal in imaging sensors? Fucking nope. stupid. Piece of shit. They go off vibration. They go off of good vibes. Anyways. When the Phantom Club is activated, the enemy cannot see you. But you will, if you coll collide, if you collab with them, you will die. I found that the Phantom Club is like not worth it. Oh, half the time? No. But there are some sections where they like force you to. You do stupid it. piece of shit. Fuck you. Game over. So like there, they want you to like hang on the ceiling and use it. This area, they made sh they made sure to like force you to use it. Oh. 
So wait, is he just gonna walk back and forth in that hallway unless I do this? Unless you do what? Like, I, if I, I can't do it here, I have to do it up here, because he's just gonna walk back and forth in this hallway otherwise. No, it... So, like, in the room to the right, there was, like, an area you could do it, I think. Like, I don't know how I feel about the Emmys, to be honest. I like them. I, I think they don't add much to the game. They're not really very scary. They're just a little frustrating. I don't know, I kind of like And them. I kind of dislike them. I would have preferred this to have just been normal-ass Metroid game with no new things ever, and they shouldn't ever add anything. They should have no new no new ideas in video games. That's my guarantee. Because doesn't he... Wait, doesn't he crawl on the ceiling? No. When I no, go... No, he won't... Not down there, I don't think. Uh, I, but here, though. Well, yeah, but he was chasing you. He saw you when you were doing it. So, like, I think the what you're supposed to... So he's coming now. So he's gonna, you know... He's gonna walk through. See nothing. He's gonna walk back. What? So if you go in that other room, there's another thing you can go upside down on. And I think that's where you have to do it. See over there. And then he'll, like, walk away. Obviously... He's gonna come after you now. So I jump up. Oh, come on. This is stupid. So, yeah, like, this is the first time. Give me a fucking uh, recharge, man. So this is the first time they're gonna. What's it called? Like. They, this is, like, the only time they force you to use the fandom thing, if I'm being real. Because, you know, you get it. And then later on, you could use it to just escape the Emmy if you run into them. And you don't really have much solutions. I think that's... I remember one time one of those doors screwed me over in one of these areas because the Emmy, what's it called, was chasing me and the door wouldn't open because I had to do the dumb cutscene. But I, I do get your complaint about the Emmys. I understand. Me mm. Closed. It should show... Well, it's probably about to open. The lava has to flip mm -hmm. over. But you can go to the right for now if you want. Oh, no. It went down. Never mind. Oh, there you go. There's your recharge station. Well, it doesn't recharge. It just saves. No, it does not recharge. It doesn't heal you. Oh. Oh, thank Yeah, no. No. Oh, that will recharge you, though. Yo, those remind me of Pikmin enemies. I guess that's how you're supposed to get your missiles. Oh. Yo. Secret unlocked. It's hot, so who cares? You can go in a hot room until you die. Or not until you die. Well, you have like a little bit of time in the hot room. But I doubt there's anything in the hot room. Yeah, probably. Time. Probably nothing you can do now. I don't know if they're going to... Well, they're obviously... They're, I don't know if they're going to make another 2D Metroid for a long time, probably. Why? I don't know, because I feel like the this next... one was commercially successful, why wouldn't they? I feel like the next one they're going to do is, obviously... What's it called? Prime. <laughs> well, I guess. I mean, they can have another team work on... I guess. 2D games. No, the Metroid team is going to go help Kid Icarus now. Nice. Oh, I see the door, yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, you fucker. Sayonara! I... <clears throat> See, like, I just don't like, I just don't like that mechanic. Oh, like, you... I, I just don't like the, the, it gets you and it kills you, redo this very small segment. It's not yes. punishing enough to feel significant, and it's just frustrating enough to, and it's just enough of a setback to be frustrating. I guess. And, and I mean, I just kind of don't put... find it very interesting. It's like Hollow Knight when I have to fight a boss, though, and then I have to re get my shade back. Well, that's different. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, but it's pretty similar. Like I die, and I have to go back all the way to get my shade done. Well, it's a consequence for repeating failure. I guess. Right. You you can choose to if you die in a place you don't think you can best at the moment. You can choose not to get your shade at the cost of not being as quite as powerful and losing. Uh, your a uh, resource, which is your money. In this game, it's 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 just. I mean, for a this enemy will pursue you relentlessly, and if it's if it's easy. All right, but at least this game, when you die, it doesn't it doesn't force you back to the last save point, which is for Hollow Knight's the bench. Fine, I don't I don't really get, I think that's different because these games are structured differently. But wait, shit. <laughs> I I don't think Hollow Knight's bench save thing is really that annoying. I just um, don't like dying and then having to walk, like, five rooms to get to a because, boss. Again. Because consider what I said. I said that met th met this mechanic in Metroid is not significant enough... Not punishing enough to feel significant. What is, what is happening? There you go. It's not punishing enough to feel significant, whereas in Hollow Knight, when you die and you're set back, that's punishing enough to feel significant. And so it's like, okay, I, I, I see. This is the consequence. In this, it's just go back for a little bit but not really all that much. And so you'd rather see them... if you get see if you get slightly luckier with this one-hit enemy, which I just don't find very compelling as a game mechanic. And I wish it was slightly different. I just don't really know how. Cuz like I'm not scared of the Emmys. Many like, like well, but they, that's a, clearly the angle they were going for. I'm not really scared of the Emmys, be, be, partially because ki getting killed by one isn't that big of a deal. Um, but I'm also not, like, having fun evading them. I don't know, it sounds like it, sounds like it is a big deal if you die to them. I'm just making a joke. What? I'm just making a joke about how you're sort of not making, you're kind of making a big deal about the way they, they I'm talking about them. I'm talking about a, a, an aspect know, of the I game know, that I, I find a little less than stellar. Boop. Thermal flow has been reversed. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I really don't use the invisibility thing. It kind of sucks. Samus Aaron! Shoot the Metroid! Punch it in the face! It will be annoying! Samus Metroid! Samus Metroid! Samus Metroid! Samus Metroid! Eh uh -huh, can't get you. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I can. <laughs> Samus Metroid! Samus Metroid! Samus Metroid! Ooh, Samus you got him. Samus Metroid! Samus is this, Metroid! This is Samus' theme song. Samus Metroid! Is this Samus' sneaky snitch? Hey, that does not look familiar. Uh, chameleon. This is that shit I couldn't get into in Super Metroid. I don't know. <laughs> this is that shit I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to get into. 
I mean, and I yeah. stopped playing. <laughs> Is that really where you stopped? Yeah, playing? I, I never got to Ridley. I th this thing leads to Ridley, right? In Super Metroid. No. Whatever. One, there's one that looks like that that leads to Crate. I'm pretty sure. No, I already beat Crate. Okay. I'm pretty sure the only boss in Super Metroid I never fought was was Ridley. Ridley's like the second to last boss. Okay, well then, and Mother Brain. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you got so wait, you literally got to the end of the game pretty much. I'm, I think so. I'm pretty sure I only had. Did you to fight the underwater boss? I think so. That was like a like it it required the um. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. Actually, you probably the one that like had the big tail and had the cro grabby things. I think so, yeah. Oh, okay, then, yeah, you literally got to the end of the game and quit playing at the end. Well, because I, cause I, could, <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get into Ridley's thing, and I yeah, kind of didn't want to look little, it up. So Great I, Star is a little... When crazy. I say I gave up, what I mean is that I stopped playing and I forgot about it and didn't come back. So it wasn't that I made the conscious decision to quit, it's just, like, I, I took a break because I was like, well, I can't figure this out right now, and I'll that come back later. Like, a lot of your games where you're like, I'm and not quitting, I'm just stopping for now, and then you just don't play anymore. Well, right, because something else catches my attention. And it's also just kind of a consequence of how I do things. I kind of tend to, like, for lack of a better term, I don't mean this in, like, I don't mean this, like, in the way that it, 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 it in what it means for, like, autistic people, but, like, hyperfixate on something. For like maybe a week or two, and then my man has given is probably never going back to breath. Not breath. Like oh, tears of the kingdom. kingdom. Like um a couple months ago, not well a month ago, I found a new podcast that I really like. Podcast is a bad word. It's not really podcast. It's like a, a audio drama. I found I really liked. And I listened to the like ha It's like two hundred episodes long. I listened to uh, like a hundred of those episodes in the span of a week. And then, like, for two or three weeks after that, I didn't listen to a single episode. <laughs> That's just, like, how it goes for me. I get I mean, I... So this is... I mean, I kind of have that, but mine's, like, really weird. I get super hyper fixated on watching a video over and over again. So, like, I'll watch one video over and over again for, like, a month straight, and then I'll, like, probably never watch it again. You watch videos multiple times? What do you mean by that? Yes. So, like, if there's a video I find really funny... And I have no other videos to watch. Like a Let's Play video? Or like a gaming video. So like, oh, okay. Lethal Company, a guy played it. I found the video funny. I watched it probably three times already. Okay. I rewatched videos a ton. What is he telling me? Do I have to care about this? Oh, I, w I was looking at you. I didn't even see what he said. Emmys. I'm pretty sure he's just talking about the Emmys again. I don't know. Adam B. talking mad crazy. Damn, Adam, that's crazy. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <gasps> oh yeah, those things suck. I have you have to use the counter. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yeah, those things are those things are a pain. Gee, what are you there? You I didn't see the pink. Let's go see. Doesn't it make you, doesn't it fill your body with dread going into one of these rooms? Yeah. Get it? Dread? <laughs> Metroid Dread? Yeah, the only thing dreadful about this game is the gameplay! Oh, ho, 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 Waka, waka! It's a little bit of Muppets humor for all, for all you uh, Muppets fans out there. This might be a good place to end the video. Yeah, I guess. I mean, what time? How much We're 30 minutes in. Awesome. Oh, boy, it sure would be a problem if I, uh... Mind if I drop video. in? Michael, I don't think you can count yourself in this video, unfortunately. I don't think so. It's so sad. Uh, we, we made a lot of progress in this map, actually. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, next time, we will complain more about other video games and other things. See you guys then. Uh-oh.